Okay, and today I'm going to be walking you through VTM where we're going to be setting up an image reference and um, basic material for modelling. We're going to be modelling the Beretta 9000 later on and obviously I'm going to be setting up the image reference for that weapon. I've collected various image references for use. Obviously, before you model anything you always collect image references no matter what you're modelling just to make sure you know exactly what it's supposed to look like. As you can see I've got quite a lot. <laughs> I've got the left hand side, the right hand side and just a perspective view so I know what height everything's at. I'm going to come back to 3ds Max for a second and we're going to be setting up the image reference now. I'm going to select a plane and I'm going to drag it out on my left hand viewport. I'm going to bring the segments down to one on each one. And now I need to know exactly how big in pixels the other images that I'm going to be using. So I come back to my images I'll select this one it tells me it's 500 by 365. I can come back to 3ds Max and use that in units because I'm using each unit as a pixel. Now I'll right click on my move I'll select my move tool then I'll right click on it just to center everything up just make sure they're all on zero. Now it's centered in the middle everything's perfect. I'm gonna come across to my material panel just make sure I've selected the first material. I'm gonna apply a bitmap and then make sure it's visible in all viewports. Now as you can see I can see it in my perspective but I can't see it in my left hand or my top or my right front view viewport. So I'm just going to come over and smooth highlights with edge faces. Smooth highlights with edge faces. If you don't know what I'm doing here then I'm right clicking on each view, right clicking on each little text thing <laughs> and just um, selecting it obviously. I'm going to come to them all, I'm going to press G in all of them that's just to basically get rid of the grid. I'm going to press Alt W just to bring it up full screen so you can see what we're going to be doing. Now just to show you a quick little example of how we're going to be modeling basically pretend that's my model, that's what I've made so far. I'm going to be adding a material to this model. I'm going to call this transparent. don't even know if that's spelled right but anyway. <laughs> now I'm going to click on Auto key and go to my first frame. I'm going to set the opacity to 50 Go to my second frame, set the opacity to zero. Take auto key off and go back to one. As you can see, if you look up here, when I change each key frame, then obviously it changes. I'm going to drag and drop this on here to show you what I mean. If you think about when I'm modeling, I'm moving things around, I can just quickly come down here, click that, carry on modeling. If I want it to go fully, I can click that, come down there, model. Now, just to make things a little better, I'm going to come to the time configuration panel down here. I'm going to set the end frame, end time to 2. Now, the button's really big. It's basically just a, I suppose you could class it as a macro, but if you don't know what a macro is, it's just basically a simple script with a button. And that should, just delete that in fact for the next thing, and then that should outline basically everything that you need to do when you're setting up a scene. That's about it. See you later in the next VTM.